Hi, today I'm going to talk about acne, one of the most common skin conditions, uh, mainly affecting teenagers but also adults. I'm going to briefly talk about the causes of acne and mainly I'm going to focus on the treatment options we currently have for acne. Acne is a chronic inflammatory condition um, involving the hair follicle and its associated sebaceous gland. There are two abnormalities occurring in acne. One is overproduction of sebum and the other one is blockage of the follicular opening. These two processes uh, induce microcomedone formation. This leads to non-inflammatory blackheads and whiteheads and then to inflammatory acne lesions, papules, pustules and nodules, commonly referred to as pimples. There is a step ladder for acne and we tailor a specific treatment according to the severity of acne. Uh, for mild acne, where, where comedones predominate, dermatologists would use topical retinoids. There are several types uh, differing in strength, for example, tretinoin, isotretinoin, adapalene or tazotin. Uh, the patient should use it at night uh, after uh, gently washing the face with a gentle cleanser and then mm, uh, patting the skin dry and allowing it to fully dry for 10-15 minutes. And then uh, a pea-sized amount should be applied to cover the entire face. The key is not to rub it all into one area too early and instead just dab it onto different parts of the face. Uh, Topical retinoids often irritate the skin uh, early in the treatment, so for about four or six weeks, and therefore should be initially tried on alternate days or even twice weekly and then moved to once daily. Uh, for mild acne, where uh, inflammatory lesions predominate, Topical benzoyl peroxide can be used and uh, initially it should be used on alternate days and then moved to once daily. Uh, also, initially it can be used in lower strength, uh, for example 2.5% and then uh, titrated to 5 and 10%. Uh, topical benzoyl peroxide can also irritate the skin uh, and it can bleach clothing. For mild acne with inflammatory lesions, topical antibiotics can be used, for example, erythromycin or clindamycin. For moderate acne, uh, dermatologists would uh, combine topical preparations mentioned in the previous section uh, with uh, systemic antibiotics, for example, tetralizol or doxycycline or erythromycin. Uh, it should be noted that systemic and uh, topical antibiotics should not be mixed as it can uh, lead to increased bacterial resistance. For female patients, uh, oral contraceptive pill with anti-androgen effect can be used and it's especially effective against acne uh, occurring on the lower part of the face, the jawline and the neck. And it's important to understand that patients respond slowly to topical treatments and systemic antibiotics. So it may take up to three months to see any effect of the treatment. So patience is encouraged. For severe acne uh, with nodules or scarring, uh, oral isotretinoin should be considered. Uh, it's a potent medication, it dries up sebaceous glands and prevents comedone formation. It's given as a six-month course and vast majority of patients will clear. Uh, however, 20% may experience uh, some um, recurrence. However, uh, it's never as bad as the preceding acne. Oral isotretinoin is teratogenic, so it means that it can cause serious 
birth defects, and therefore female patients of childbearing potential uh, must undertake adequate measures to avoid pregnancy during the treatment and for one month afterwards. Uh, side effects are common and include uh, dryness of the lips and nasal mucosa, even causing nosebleeds, and dry eczema patches on the trunk and limbs. And these two side effects can be improved by using liberal amounts of moisturizing creams or emollients. Uh, other side effects are uh, redness of the face, muscle pains, joint pains, um, increased lipid levels or mood disturbances. Uh, the key uh, of treatment uh, of acne is to relieve the stress and prevent scarring. Scarring is a major issue with acne uh, because um, uh, once, it's, once it's there it's very difficult to treat. Um, so at any signs of, of acne scarring um, uh, treatment should be maximized and oral isotretinoin should be considered. Uh, in recent years we do have some tools to improve acne scarring, however. Uh, for example, we can use uh, uh, subcision or 100% TCA peels or fractionated CO2 laser. Also, diet could be important in acne uh, and it's best to, to avoid um, having um, foods with um, high, high uh, glycemic in index and also dairy in large amounts should be avoided.